Welcome to AzureTeach.net. Swagger with .NET 6 minimal APIs does not support file upload functionality out of the box. We have to write an operation filter and register that with the Swagger. In this demo, we are going to develop an endpoint that accepts multiple files and we are going to test that using the Swagger. Before we start, please subscribe to AzureTeach.NET channel for more videos on Azure and .NET. Here, I am creating a new ASP.NET Core Web API project. I named my project as Minimal API Upload File Swagger Testing. Clicking on Next. And here we have to choose .NET 6. And here we have to uncheck this checkbox. Because we are going to create the project using Minimal API Template. Clicking on Create. Here, the project is created. I am going to Program.cs. And here we have the boilerplate code related to weather forecast. I am removing that code. If you are seeing the minimal APIs for the first time, minimal API is a new way of developing API using .NET 6. It will have the bare minimum code that is required for developing an API. And also here if you see in the solution explorer, we'll have very less number of files when compared to the regular web API project. Here I am defining an endpoint app dot map post i want to use it for uploading the files i am giving the name for my route as file slash upload files and after that here we have to declare a lambda expression and inside this we have to write code for processing the files here we have to use http request because minimal apis does not support iform file automatic binding so we have to use http request message and from that we have to read the files so here i am writing if request dot form dot files dot any so here if there are no files i want to return return results dot bad request and inside this i am writing a message at least one file is required and after that here i am iterating over the files where file in request dot form dot files and inside this we can declare using where stream is equal to new file stream and here we have to provide the path where we want to save the files so here i'm copying the path and pasting it over here and to this we have to append the file name so here i'm taking the file name from the uploaded file itself if you want to give a different file name that you can do and here we have to mention file mode dot create new as we are creating a new file from the uploaded file and after that here we have to close the using block and we can get the file contents to the stream and we can save it to the drive so what we can do here is file dot copy to and to this we can provide the stream so what happens here is the contents of this file will be copied into the stream and once this using block is ended it will save the file to the drive and after that here i want to return a message stating files uploaded successfully so here i'm writing results dot okay and here i'm writing files uploaded successfully if you want to make this endpoint work with swagger we have to write more code let us see the issue that comes if we use Swagger to test this endpoint. I'm running this solution. It opened the Swagger UI. I'm clicking here and if you see here we don't have any parameters. Now let us see if this endpoint works if we mention the type of data that it accepts. So here I'm writing accepts. I want to upload multiple files. So I'm writing list of iform file. And here we have to mention the type of data that it accepts as we are processing files. We have to use multipart slash form hyphen data. Let us run this application again. I'm clicking here. So here if you see it is 
showing that our endpoint accepts an array of strings and this is not correct we have to upload the files and that is not possible with an array of string but why this is showing as an array of string because swagger treats the iform file or the file upload as an array of string it is mentioned in their documentation to process the files for this endpoint we have to write i operation filter and we have to register that with the swagger let us do that now this code perfectly works with postman tool or any other client application if you want to know how to test this file upload functionality using postman tool i have a separate video for that and you can find that by clicking the i symbol that is there at the top right corner of this video let us create a new file over here so here i am clicking on add new class and i am naming my class as file upload operation filter and we have to implement i operation filter press control dot and use this namespace and press control dot again and we have to implement this interface if we register this filter with the swagger it will be executed for every operation and we do not want to do that we want this filter to be executed only if the form submits multi-part form data. So here we have to write if operation dot request body is equal to is equal to null or not operation dot request body dot content dot any x dot key dot equals and here we have to pass the content type that is multipart slash form hyphen data and here we have to pass string comparison dot ordinal ignore case so if this condition is matched we want to return from here so what we are checking here if the form content is not multi-part form data we want to return from here and after that here we have to write operation dot parameters dot clear we want to clear the parameters and after that here we have to check the type of parameter so here i'm writing context dot api description dot parameter descriptions of zero so here we assume that the first parameter will be of type iform file so here we have to check type is equal to equal to type of iform file or let us copy this and paste it over here again and here i want to use list of iform file so what we are doing here here we want to process this code only if the parameter type is iform file or list of iform file in our api endpoint we are using list of iform file so why we are writing this here there can be a chance that there can be other endpoints which accepts multi-part form data but they don't accept the file to mitigate that issue we are using this if statement and inside this we are writing the code inside this we have to define the schema for our parameter so here i'm writing uploaded file media type is equal to new open api media type and to this we have to pass schema property and it should be new open api schema and here we have to mention the type as we are passing an array of files it should be object and after that here we have to define the properties so this is a dictionary so i want to name the parameter as files you will understand this when i run the application for files also we have to define the schema so it should be new open api schema and the type should be an array as we are uploading an array of files as it is a collection we have to pass items and 
It is also new open API schema and inside this the type should be string and format should be binary. After this properties we can define the required parameters. I want to make the files as required. So here I'm writing new hash set of string and our required parameter is files so here i'm writing files i'll show you what this code will do once i run the application now we have to use this schema for the operation body so here i'm writing operation dot request body is equal to new open api request body and inside this in the content property this is a dictionary so to this we have to pass the schema that we have defined so here i am writing multi-part slash form data that's the content type and after that here the value is uploaded media file type now we have to register this filter with the swagger so here in the program.cs in this add swagger gen we can pass a lambda so here i'm writing c c dot operation filter and here i'm mentioning the type press control dot and add the namespace now let us run this application it opened the swagger ui and here if you see we got a parameter with name files why we got like this because here we have mentioned the parameter name as files and here it is a type of nra so the same is shown over here and after that here we have mentioned that it's a required parameter so here if you see we got star required and this is multi-part form data because when we defined our endpoint we have mentioned the type of data that it accepts is multi-part form data so we got the same and after that here also we have defined the same the outcome that we are seeing on the swagger ui because of this statement now let us upload the file so here click on this add string item here it is showing add string item because the files are type of string so that's the reason it is showing like this click on choose and here i'm choosing this file and i want to add one more file clicking over here clicking on choose file and adding this file and now i'm clicking on execute so here if you see we got file uploaded successfully let us verify this and here if you see the files are uploaded successfully that is all in this demo if this demo is helpful to you please like this video and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on azure and .net thank you